Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. Greg Zerline now. He'll handle the honors to get us started. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails go, over the inline. play of the game and it's second down Brandon all things considered they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them here's second and seven now from the 28 here's Steve Young well, that's complete to Sanders and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down 17 yards first down Vikings it's Young on first down. He's going to fire one deep. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 36 yards on the play. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Looking to throw Young. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Darren Waller there to make the grab. And the Vikings take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. one goes nowhere losing yardage back at the 22 that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down 
A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Throwing Vic. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked up by an American hero, Pat Tillman. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. Not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to what He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Steve Young with two first quarter touchdown passes. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he's going to be out of bounds here on the return at his own two-yard line. Only able to get it to the two-yard line on his return. Not going to make a lot of friends on your team when you only get it that far. The Bengals drive about to get going. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Here's Sanders, and he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine at the two-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Vic with a give to Sanders. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Leo, Leo, get it. Young on first down, eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. On second and ten, Young. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Young on third down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Night Train Lane. 
And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. It had been a near-perfect beginning to this football game. Already a double-digit lead first quarter, but their first misstep. And you know how it is, partner. Sometimes when everything's going right, you start to feel like you can do just about anything you want. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off at the 18. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Following the interception, Young, he's going to fire one deep, middle, he's got a man, complete! Touchdown, Vikings! Calvin Johnson, 82 yards, and the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing, and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it, it's scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over them. This will be fielded at the 6. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here. Or an inability to put any points up. This one might be nowhere to escape. And he goes down. Ryan Shazier got in that time. The first round pick of 2014. Three scores down. Not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes and they're getting at him. No, he didn't spike it. He faked it. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hey, rock it, rock it. I know he ain't got it. Young will set to throw. He's going to fire one deep, and it's caught inside the 30. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Steve Young as his guys continue to pour it on. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. We play to win. Let's go. Ready, ready. The offensive penalty Nine, has us back where we started as they come up on a first and ten. They're going to look to throw, and he is going to go down.
sack him on the final play of the first quarter. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football. As they've got it with a second down coming up. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. He'll look to throw. And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this ball game. And this defense continues to dominate. How about two safeties in one game here? You don't even put that on your goal sheet. This is something that results when you're playing really well on defense and the offense has nowhere to go with the football. Dominating performance. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. So maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. After the sack, here's second and 11. Hey, Steve Six, Steve Six. Now uh, here's Young. Got his man. That's the pro bowler Julio Jones. Touchdown, Vikings! Make it five touchdown passes now for Steve Young as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and the route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls. And you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. On second down, it's Sanders. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. And a strange one here, a little befuddled. They're sending out the field goal unit now. Here's Michael Vick. And all the gamble fails. It's incomplete. I was just confused on that one. I, I had third down written. It said third down on the scoreboard. Do you think the sideline lost track? Maybe they thought it was fourth? Uh, it's something went haywire. And I'll admit it, I've lost track of downs before. But I'm not the one calling plays. I'm not the one keeping track here. They have to know this. And look, I love my football north of the border as much as anyone. But here, it's four downs. All right? I can't believe they tried it that way and, and then went ahead and faked it as well. Nothing doing. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Smith! Go! Go! On first and ten, Young. And he's got it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Julio Jones. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far as his guys continue to pour it on. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Yeah. 
The Bengals drive about to get going. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Vic readies to throw out to his left. Now Vic stripped. He lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they'll have great field position here as the ball will be at the 15-yard line. Mike is 59. Mike's the 59. Tackles. Tackles. Jim, look at me. Go up. Go up. Hey, Alpha. Watch out. Watch out. Check three, check three. Young now after the fumble recovery. Flushed out right. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A 15-yard touchdown grab as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past over through guys in order to make these catches and being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game it's going to take a lot of effort so maybe it'll open things up for some other people well they better figure something out and soon The Bengals drive about to get going. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Back to throw now on second and ten. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. It'll be a gain of five, and the punt team will now come out on fourth down. And that's why the fullback position was created. You just want a big, strong, powerful guy you can hand the ball to and pick up good yardage. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the... 